This podcast is brought to you by Most Valuable Podcasts, saving your day from boredom with the best podcasting entertainment. What's up, what's up? Real MVPs, Ricky Widmer here, along with fellow man-child, Tallahassee. It's time to nerd up or shut up. Isn't that sh- so 2009 now? Okay, it's time to kick some dicks. All right, we're kicking dicks here. Welcome into the Zombieland 2 Double Tap Preview. Well, not preview. It's a preview. review. <laughs> um, a re- a review. <laughs> we're giving a review of the movie. I didn't know we were doing um, previews now. Yeah, we're doing previews after the movie. <laughs> the best kind of preview. You see the preview after you've already seen the movie, but this has been a while since we've done one of these. Um, I think the last one we did was Lion King? Question mark. I think it's that's the last movie that we've seen. Um, there was scheduling conflicts, obviously getting in the way of movies, and of course, money, the moolah. But if you want to help us out with that, patreon.com backslash most valid podcast. And that's how you can either be in our Discord, that's only a dollar. You can suggest topics and ask questions to podcasts, and you can join podcasts. And be on for that discussion that you want to talk about. Patreon.com backslash most about podcast. You can help us out so that we can go see more movies and review more movies for you guys. But today, Zombieland 2, if you're new to any of our movie reviews, how we usually do it is we kind of stick in a non-spoiler mode. And then after a while, we kind of spoil the shit out of the movie, kind of talk about whatever we want about. And it's kind of fair game from then uh, then on out. But, Johnny, I will open this up like I usually do, and I will ask you general thoughts of the movie, and if anyone who hasn't seen it yet, should they go and see it? Go see it. It was great. I think it was hilarious. Just like seeing the first one, it's just not It's not like it's just, oh, we're rehashing it. It was actually mm-hmm. pretty fresh. Yeah, I mean, to be fair, 10 years Because that was one later. of the problems that I thought it was going to be of, like, for example, Boondock Saints 2. It was like... Is it as good as the first? No, but it's like, okay, this is a fan service. I I was worried going in that this was just going to be a, fan, a service. fan service. Like, oh, it's been 10 years. Here it is. If you haven't seen Zombieland 1, I don't know how many people haven't, but let's say you were born after 2009, and let's say you're like a... 10 years old? No, I'll even say that. Let's say you're like 13, 14, 15 okay. even. Okay. Um, cause you would have been born at that point. Like what you would have been three when the first zombie land came Between out Between three and five. Yeah. You technically don't even need to see, like you don't need to see the first zombie. Would it help? Land. Yeah. A little yeah. bit, but nothing that's going to break the bank. Yeah. The only thing that really, the only thing that would really help by seeing the first one is like. The relationship between like Emma, um, Emma, Emma Stone, Stone and, uh, and uh, what's his name, um, Columbus, Columbus, Columbus in Wichita. Wichita. Um, their relationship because you'll be like, well, why are they together? Yeah. Um, but other than that, it's like I, I thought that this is a movie that could kind of stand on its own. Yeah, for the most part, it can. Now, did it play off of the tropes of the first one? For sure. Of course, it had to. Um, one of the things that I think is really cool about this movie is the visual aspect of it. Um, Especially where, and this isn't a spoiler if you've seen Zombieland 1, but Zombieland 2, if you haven't seen Zombieland 1, you might see this as a spoiler. Whenever they mention the rules, the words come up, and how, like, I loved how those words played with the environment. Yeah, Like, if a character were to touch one, it would fall, or it would get pushed over. Um, kind of a way. So, like, those kind of visuals, I loved it. It was funny. I would go see it. Is there anything in non-spoiler mode that we got to gotta stick with in this one, do you um, think? I don't think there's a lot we can work off of in non-spoiler. Because, mm-hmm. I mean... You got to go right into uh, it. We're going to kind of have to go into it pretty quickly. Um, I mean, there were, like... I'll say there are, like, little snippets, very small things that, again, like, it doesn't ruin if you, it doesn't mm-hmm. ruin anything if you haven't seen the first one. Little, like, throwbacks to the old one that, like, mentioning... Well, you wouldn't understand it unless you, you saw the exactly. first one. Exactly. Like, okay. there's little, like, callbacks here and there. Like, I think they're, mm-hmm. they, like, mention things from before and stuff yeah. like that. I'm sure... Oh, yeah. Okay, I Like, got it's one. here and there, but it's, it's all small stuff. Like, this isn't a spoiler, so I'll say it. Yeah. Or, like, um, the... It's Zoe, um, Dilute... Or, Detuch character. I fucked I think up her it's last Deutsch. name. Zoe Deutsch. 
Uh, Zoe Deutsch. <laughs> Zoe Deutsch. Zoe Deutsch. Zoe Deutsch. Her character, she's the blonde in the trailers. Yeah. Um, it's like when Columbus goes, wow, she's beautiful. She's girl in apartment B30 whatever. Exactly. And it's like, if you didn't see Zombieland 1, you don't you're understand like, that reference, okay. but it's not that important. Yeah, but for me, it's like, okay, that registered... And it didn't. I didn't harp on it exactly um, too much. Or like, for example, the like, oh, they're going this in Zombieland one. It was Zombie Kill of the Week. Mm-hmm. This time it's oh Zombie Kill of the Year, and then they do those kind of homages and flashbacks. Um, they well, they that, added a Zombie Kill of the Year because I think yeah. there were still Zombie Kills of the Week. Yeah, they did. They mentioned one of them. We'll get into it. Um, but then this, the big one for this this one was hey, a week is. So 2009, we're going zombie kill of the year. Yeah, so um, but it's the same kind of style of like they flash back to somebody what happened, else. Yeah, yeah. Um, but we're gonna go into spoiler mode now. So if you haven't seen Zombie Land two, I would say go ahead and see it. Johnny already said um, that he said go ahead and see it. I would say you don't have to see number one, but it doesn't hurt. There's so many streaming services go out watch there. It. You can find it. It's a good movie. Um, although it's from 2009. When I was about 19 years old. Something like that. Um, we were both, well, we were both 19. Um, that was what? Freshman year? Depending on when it came out in the year, it would have either been freshman year, of, end of freshman year of college, summer after freshman year of college, or the very beginning of sophomore year of college. Um, so I don't even know if me and you were friends back then. No. We didn't really become friends until what, 2010? 2012. 2012. Really? It was that late? That's when, it was no. 2011, 2012, because that's when I went, came to St. Xavier. Then 2011, because I was a junior when we met, because mm-hmm. I graduated college in 2012, and I know I knew you for at least my last two years of my undergrad. So yeah, when the first zombie line came out, me and you didn't even know each other. I think I probably saw it with Dave then. Did I see it with Dave? I don't know. I probably saw it with Dave, because... You're the only one I see movies with now. Mm -hmm. Um, But we're going to move into spoiler mode, so if you haven't seen it, go ahead and see it. But let's start in spoiler mode, and the first thing I want to start off with is that text that I was kind of talking about, Mm -hmm. um, shown very nicely at the beginning, when they have their whole, they're approaching the White House, which, to me, I got very Division 2 kind of vibes from, because I've played that game. Okay. Um, I know, like, you haven't, where Division yeah, 2, it's like Washington, D.C. has fallen, and you got, like, you're going through, like, a old ratted, uh, ratted out um, White House that they make a command center. So it's kind of like, for me, I'm like, oh, man, this kind of brings me into that game that I have not played in quite some time. But, like, they'd be shooting, and the text would, like, explode off the screen yeah or like a zombie would get pushed into it and it would just like trail yeah with off the and um, fall. just like they just like with his uh verbal like not verbal but his uh rules, his rules yeah um they did the, the same with the credits yeah which was cool i like that and i was like what that was is... that? who the bell tolls was playing in this one or am i thinking the first one uh, master of puppets master of puppets we're going insane yeah it's master of puppets because i remember the master master yeah, yeah, it wasn't for who the, it was for who the bell tolls. Is that Metallica? Yeah. Okay. No. Uh, that's ACDC, isn't it? No. Who? For whom the bell tolls. I'll look it up. Tolls. Just keep no, talking. it's Metallica. Yeah, for whom the bell tolls is that, for whom the bell tolls is Metallica. We're thinking Hell's Bells. Hell's Bells is ACDC. Um, but yeah, it was Master of Puppets yeah, Metallica. You right. to start. Um, okay, I couldn't remember. And at the very beginning, also, they're kind of like the whole thing I'm going to get into right away is at the very beginning of the movie, I could not stand Wichita. Could not stand her. No. Like her care. Like I, maybe it's because I kind of side with Columbus, where like if I would be anybody in this movie, it would be Columbus. Um, cause I'm not the toughest. Um, I'll probably have, I wouldn't have like, I wouldn't be so OCD with rules. Um, but yeah, I'd be more of the timid one, um, in a zombie apocalypse to where when she did the bullshit of like, Hey, I'm going to write a note and leave right away. I'm like, Oh, fuck you. Like, fuck you. What the hell are you doing? Um, what was, what was your thought at the beginning? Um, it's interesting to see the, cause I'm just jumping right into the weeds, the dynamic yeah. of every, the two of them. And mm-hmm. then. 
the same, almost the same ish thing to not, not exactly the same, but it's, uh, I'll get into it in a minute. Like With of, Little Rock and Tallahassee. Yeah, because he's like trying to be a father figure to her, and mm-hmm. she's getting kind of tired of it. She's becoming a teenager. Exactly. Teenagers want to leave the nest. They want to they rebel be against, independent. Yeah. They, want, and, they think they want to be independent. And then they're like, but, oh, no, let me be a kid again. So he's pushing her away with that, and uh, Columbus is pushing Wichita away by mm-hmm. being almost seeming like too clingy or, or something like that. Yeah, where he gets her the gun for Christmas. No, it's no. not even Christmas. It's November whatever. I was talking about Columbus and Wichita, though. Oh, okay. He, he's Actually, doing the same thing by... Little Rock. Yeah, no, that, he's pushing her yeah. away by getting, like... Columbus is getting overbearing, clingy. and Columbus is getting clingy, which mm-hmm. is what's pushing Wichita away because she's not ready to. She's got commitment issues. Anyways. Exactly. Yeah, like that's the whole thing of like that relationship is so interesting because that's the type of character Columbus is. He's mm-hmm. a clingy character. He, yeah, exactly. And he, uh, no better way to describe the it. girl that's perfect for him is the one that just wants all of his attention, wants all of his attention, and is okay with his fucking like dorkiness Mm -hmm. and um is okay that he's not like the ideal version of what a man is which is funny because that's where madison steps in and that exactly is just a great dynamic Mm -hmm. with with that that was hilarious i love the oh i just locked myself in the freezer well didn't you think to turn it off i couldn't find the switch so and then right away columbus with the oh well yeah like surprisingly there's a lot of power here especially since we're right by the dam like, that's another thing they did. They explained shit really well. Yeah. To where... Like, hey, this is why there's still electricity. This is why there's this. Columbus reading the Walking Dead magazine <laughs> and was like, just a... This is surprisingly so unrealistic. And it's like, you're like, oh, yeah, it's kind of for show. It's the Walking Dead. Yeah. Um, The Taft wrapping paper was great. Yeah, see. Well, he's the biggest president, so... and then There's plenty left. And then the uh, later reveal of it were Columbus and uh, Wichita are having their, like, fight when she comes back. Yeah. And what do you see in the background? The The Taft picture with the fucking square taken out of it from from Tallahassee. Um, The other part that I really like, because with this movie, it's not like Logan. It's not like The Lion King, where there wasn't a lot of, for me, nitpicky things yeah. that I was going to nitpick with. It's just fucking shit that I liked in the movie. It's just fun. Um, my favorite part, hands down, has to be when Flagstaff and Albuquerque come. Yes. Because right away, great- like, you get three great things in, that, in their time in the movie, because it's short. Um, you get the driveway humor. Uh well, this is my driveway. Well, I'm parked in your drive. Well, I'm parked in the driveway right now. If I, I'll use this driveway whenever I want. Well, Columbus, I don't think they're talking about a driveway anymore. Well, if you two keep acting like this, neither of you are going to be parked in my driveway. <laughs> exactly. Um, that's number one. Number two, the whole rule commandment thing. Yeah. Oh, <laughs> just like the parallels between yeah. the two of them. Well, the thing I love most about it is, oh, well, I have like commandment one, teamwork, and that gets at Columbus, where Columbus is like, oh, why, why didn't I think of that? Put put the team first. That makes sense. Like, it actually rattled Columbus. his, oh, what, his, like, I want to say, like, what, his structure? His belief system yeah, his got rule. shook a little bit because he didn't have teamwork first. And then there's just that whole f- fight when they turn. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Especially the throwback to the first one, which you wouldn't get if you didn't see the first one. But if you did, it's that little, like, don't swing, don't swing, don't swing. Swing. All right, swing. First time it worked. And he misses. Yeah. Uh, and then this time First. he goes to swing again, and he hits Columbus in the head. <laughs> because he keeps going, hit him, hit him, hit him, hit him. Then the zombie shifts mm. sideways and clocks him right in the face with a guitar. That's another thing that we didn't mention that I liked. Yeah. How they made a point to tell you, all right, it's been 10 years the zombies are evolving because they would yeah. have. Where it's like, okay, we have evolving to hunt different types of zombies that you now have to be aware of. Yeah, and then I like how they actually gave you the classes, like not just they told, just showed you them. They showed you them. They give you little snippets of like hey, how how this zombie works. Mm-hmm. Homers are the dumbasses. Yeah, they um, they the idiots. They basically have not evolved. Exactly. Um, they're uh, just they're stupid. And uh, there's the Hawkings. 
Yes, they can actually like think for themselves. And like, I'll actually just na- see ahead. what happens in the clip. So the guy's chasing a scientist down a hall, mm-hmm. um, uses an eye scanner to get in, and the door closes, and she face plants into it, falls to the ground, sees another dead scientist there, mm-hmm. bites his eye out, scans her eye first, negative, but then opens her mouth, scans the other eye, mm-hmm. door opens, screwed. Yeah, he's an idiot. I would, at that point, like, you're in there, you're trapped in this glass case, find something in there that's yeah. going to help you. So when that zombie does Don't just open stare the door, at it. Because even if the zombie you didn't know was a hawking, mm-hmm. like, I would be like, okay, at some point the zombie's just going to ram into this door until it breaks. I got to find something in here that I can use as a weapon. Try to shut off the... Um, electricity. Electricity then that to shuts the thing. Off the, Try to... Uh, just anything. Like, Something. He just stood there. I'm like, he, I'm like, you deserve the die. Yeah, like that, he, oh, he's that just stood there watching. You deserve the die. That is your fate. Darwinism at its best. Yes. And That's then, where this movie is. And then the ninja. The nin. We didn't really see many ninjas outside no, of that clip. No, we saw like what one ha- one other hawking. We saw yeah. Well, because yeah. they climbed the mm-hmm. and it, almost got Columbus. Yeah, but we didn't see any ninjas outside of the no. Just the guy in the house. When but that's cool to, for them it. to like throw that in. There's like, hey, there's more than just Homer's and Hawking's. They didn't yeah. just get smarter. These ones got fast. Mm-hmm. And the guys like exploring the house. Mm-hmm. And I'm I, I'm sorry, zombie apocalypse. Why are you going? Hello. Exactly. No. no. Even if it, even if it's a person, you don't want to be friends with that person right away. You don't away. want no. You don't trust anybody. You want to be the one that gets the upper hand. Exactly. You don't trust strangers in a zombie apocalypse. The, Everyone's out for themselves. Got tackled and eaten. The last the only thing you hear is your the only and last thing you hear is your is scream. Your own scream. And that's where I mean going where uh what I was going to say is and I'm not saying you don't team up with people in the zombie apocalypse. You just want to be the one that gets the upper hand You first. just don't trust everyone at first because there's some people that will just want to stab you in the back and make sure you're the one mm-hmm. that's dinner. And then you um, want to tell them about the last one? The T-800, yeah. the Terminator. That was the one where I was like, especially like when Tallahassee was going to kill it. And he's like, doo, doo, double tap. All right, we're done. And it gets back up. And it can't die. Well... It can die. But it, he stomped on the head, but like it is but, so relentless that it will go tooth and nail to try to get its kill. Towards like you a T- literally have to T- have to destroy the head. Exactly, and that was one thing. I'm sorry when he's going. Do, 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 do. I'm just thinking. I'm like fucking just aim for the head, Tallahassee. Like, have they not understood at this point where shoot it? And like, I'm sorry. Maybe it's because I've seen so many zombie movies. movies. And TV shows and red zombie comics. My common sense would tell me shoot for the head. It's like a per- like a person. Like it blows my mind in everything where it's like, oh, I'm gonna shoot for the body. Don't shoot for the body. Shoot for the head. I know it's a smaller target, but there's no body armor on the fucking head. They could probably have body armor on their body. Shoot for the fucking head. That's a one-shot kill. Yeah, well, here's the other thing. No with, one's surviving a shot to the head. These zombies are a little bit different than most ones we've seen because they Except actually... Except a shot to the heart. That, that, they, that's worse. They show some reactions to, like, being shot in, like, the body and everything mm-hmm. compared to most other ones where it's, like, the yeah, it's the force of the bullet that kind of shifts their shoulders Dude, back. Dude, that but, T-800, he shot it, and it, like, matrixed out yeah, of the way. Yeah, he's like, son of a bitch trying to dodge me Well, that made, <laughs> when it first went down. Well, that made me go, like... What the fuck? Yeah. Like, it can fucking matrix this shit on Like, it didn't slow down, but, like, it can move that fast to fucking dodge a bullet? Dodge two bullets. Like, that's the shit where, like, you know how we have talked about doing that, like, um, deadliest war- warrior thing, but about, like, I would love now to do, like, not just, like, zombie versus zombie in this universe, but, like, a walking dead zombie versus a T-800. Or like a zombie from this universe versus no comparison. Exactly. On that. Like, I want to put this thing up against other zombies. Walking now. Zo- like, I want to know the exact science, and someone else can do it because I'm not going to do it right now. Um, of how fast that zombie would have had to move its shoulder just miles per hour just to dodge that bullet, because it he wasn't stand a wasn't standing too far from it. Was maybe like what ten feet away at most? Mm, I'd give it like twenty. Okay, twenty feet at most. Um, 
and a bullet's quick. Mm-hmm. A bullet travels fast. If you shot a bullet at me from 20 feet, I ain't dodging out of the way. Hell no. I don't think any human's dodging out of the way. Um, and I get it's a movie. I know people are going to say, but we get it's a movie. You're thinking too scientifically about this. It just made me it's drop kind of my fun jaw. About it. it it made me drop my jaw because I'm like, now I want to know how quickly it had to move to dodge that bullet. Th- that's just what I'm thinking. Um, any other things that sparked your mind? Before I um, I have a question lined up that I know you know it's coming, so yeah. I'm not surprising you. Well, why don't we talk about the zombie kill of the year and weeks? Go ahead. Um, one of them was uh, the hay baler. <laughs> The, just, oh yeah, the, I'm gonna kill you, zombie. That just was going, the zombie kill of the week. Going through uh, the hay, the hay field. Mm-hmm. There we go. You My might want to put the milk duds down for this one. So he's just chasing him down with a big ass hay baler. Mm-hmm. Zombie trips. <laughs> Gets just sawed up. My and you favorite, see a hay bale of zombie with a zombie face in it. My favorite's the one from Italy. Oh, the year with the leaning tower. Oh, the year or was that another weak one? No, that was the year. Okay. Um, and the thing I love most about it. So if you haven't seen the movie, um, I'll let you guys know about it. Where Italian guy has mannequins. Hey, we're tourists. Zombies I have come two out. Two kids and a wife. We're lost. And then he used a jack to basically lean the tower of Pisa onto the zombies. Right. And have it fall. And the best part. This is Boondock Saints in my head. Not just the fuck you under the chin. To me, it brings me back to Boondock Saints because that's what the mobsters say. The mm-hmm. Papa Culo. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Basically, the go fuck yourself. And I I heard that, and it snapped me back into Boondock Saints 1, where final scene, they've got the guns of the guy's head, and he goes, Papa Culo. I'm probably even saying it wrong because I'm not even Italian. Um but basically telling him, go fuck yourself. Like, as you're yeah. trying to kill me. No, that w- I laughed about that too because I've heard that before from mm-hmm. a. Some some that some of our friends I know a little bit of Italian. Um, you kind of knew at the end Babylon was gonna fall, or it had a feeling it was going to. You know, like, yeah. like you know, because isn't isn't the history like that Babylon fell or something? I think so. I don't remember. Um, I love how each time it's like, oh Babylon, I love the song, or as Madison put it, Baby Lon. Baby. Oh, we're going to Baby Lon. Oh, hey, it's Baby Lon. Or did she say Baby Land? Baby Lon. Okay. Maybe she said land. She was know. so stupid. I she could, was. It was hilarious. I could fig- no, because oh, what was the it? Thing uh, that, the thing that bothered you about Madison that I forgot to bring up, the peanut allergy that would have killed her. Oh, yeah. <laughs> the only thing I said in the car after was like, that's not how an allergy works. <laughs> oh, it was just a peanut allergy. Like, eh, that's not. I get they're doing it for the movie. Because <laughs> that surprised me. I thought she was going to be dead. I thought so, too. You heard the double gunshot. Mm-hmm. And then how we get her reintroduced is the... The clown. The ice cream truck. Ice cream truck that, uh, what is it, uh, Columbus said absolutely not to. Yeah, he hates clowns. Yeah, I thought it was hilarious that uh, he's, that we just see this ice cream truck coming back down the road. And we're, mm-hmm. You said you were the same reaction. I was like, I was like, who the fuck's in the there? What the fuck is going on? I'm like, who's in there? Who's driving? I was expecting Hi. like a T-800 be driving it. Right? Or some, some new character they were going to introduce. Mm-hmm. And right. then, nope, just Madison. Hi, I missed you guys. <laughs> and then they both look at Columbus like, hmm, you didn't kill her, huh? Um, I like how you, though, you're like, unless she's, unless she found some Benadryl in the forest. A big pile of Benadryl in the forest. <laughs> oh, man. Because I thought, I thought she was turning because that's how they even portrayed it when Albuquerque and Flagstaff turned. Because she got bit on the foot. But apparently it didn't go through the shoe. Yeah. I mean, when she got bit, I was like, oh, well, she's fucking dead. I thought so, too. I'm like, well, she's going to die. <laughs> like, when people get bit, they usually don't survive those bits, yeah. um, if you know what I mean. Usually. Um, the question, though, I was going to ask, and this is for everyone out there, is, and I asked us this in the car. We also went to see the movie with our friend Ron. Um, so I kind of asked all of us, if you were in a zombie apocalypse... What type of person would you be? Would you be the type where I'm going to put Columbus in this category um, where you're kind of a bunkerer? I'm going to call it a bunkerer where I'm going to find a place. I'm going to bunker down and this is going to be my kind of HQ operation. Of course, I may go out and kind of walking dead style. I may go out and go on runs and try to find stuff at maybe like a local store or something because obviously you got to keep those supplies um, replenished, 
Or would you be the type of person that I'm going to call the Wanderer? Kind of like that Tallahassee character when he was like, you know what? I got to be back on the open road. That's just how I am. A lone wolf where you kind of almost feel like you're always on the run. So obviously everyone watching, I'm asking you guys this too. Um, Let us know in the comment section. But Johnny, I'll, I'll throw it to you. Which person do you feel like you would be? A wanderer? A bunkerer, or what I didn't ask you on Friday, mm-hmm. is there another category out there that I'm missing? Or is it just wanderer and bunker? So, um, at first, I'll start with this. At mm-hmm. first, like for the longest time, uh, I always thought bunkerer would be the great great one. I mean, we also discussed in the car, one mm-hmm. thing for sure, is it also depends on like what zombie lore you're going with. True. But, like those T eight hundreds, I don't know if I want to be bunkered down. Yeah, exactly. Like with those, I feel like it's always gonna have to be like, well, I'm on the run. I'm on the run away from these T eight hundreds. Cause like even like we saw at Babel- Babylon, it took a fucking master plan to and save them. a huge monster truck to fucking save them. Because I thought they were dying. So I thought they I. were dead. When they were surrounded and hugging, I'm like, Well, this is how it ends. This yeah, is I'm like end? seriously like, oh wow, this is where we're gonna how we're gonna end this series. I almost had the re- I almost had the utmost respect. Like, cool, that's how we're gonna end this. I respect that. Um, I didn't hate how it ended, but I I was almost ready to be like, hey man, fucking props on that one, man. Right. I really like that move. But Wanderer Bunker, you started off thinking you were over. For a long a time, I actually had a plan of like, okay, if this were to happen, uh, I would be bunker. It was, I used to be a bunker. Because we had a plan, like, to stay this specific place. Um, actually, I should just say, there's a public works that we know. Yeah. It's offset in a corner somewhere Ooh. of the town. It's like, that would be a great place to bunker down. Yeah. Um, stuff isn't too far, but we're in the suburbs, so it's like, mm-hmm. it's not like it's going to be very tra- heavily trafficked. Yeah. So it's like, okay, you know, that'd be a great It's not like place. it's wide open country where it's like, great, I got to walk five miles to, to get, get to, to just the next location of to general scavenge, store, yeah. to scavenge shit. Um, and then when that runs out, great, I don't even know where the next one is. Exactly. Now it's like another 15 to 20 miles away just to get to another mm-hmm. general store Basically or something. Basically find a new home at that point. Yeah, exactly. You're way too far away from anything. Mm-hmm. I mean, good for, to some degree, but really bad for others. Now I'm starting to like I've gotten new skill sets since I've made that we made that plan. Mm-hmm. Um, so it's like, well, the, like maybe I become a wanderer instead. There's like a nice middle ground too. It all like a a lot of this depends on the zombie apocalypse. Mm-hmm. What kind it w- would have been? Well, let's put it this way: what zombies make your universe? What zombies? Would let's you just be? go with uh, this. Okay, let's go with since, the zombie. We're land. talking about zombie land, and then I think at that point I would become a wanderer. Mm-hmm. Would be safer. Yeah, you would want to, no, no matter what, Wanderer or Bunkerer, mm-hmm. you would want to bunker down for like a little while. and then, So I would say it's more of a, a nomad or neandering. Also, what type of, what part of, we're going to use the U.S. because that's where we are. But like if you're in Europe, oh. you'd be thinking that like for us in the U.S., what part of the country? Are you going northeast? Are you going more southeast? Are you going midwest? To, Are you going to go out to the west? To be honest, I would try and stay in the northern half of the Mason-Dixon line. Mm-hmm. Honestly, like, it'll, yeah, the winters are absolutely awful in Illinois. Mm-hmm. But, but if it slows down them Zambies. Yeah, if it slows them down, let's say, it do, let's say scientifically I would think it would because liquids freeze. There's I don't think there's any sort of... Mm-hmm. Something in their body that would stop that. Yeah. But I'll say, like, the one scene we saw with the Homer, his body didn't freeze. Mm-hmm. So, I mean, at that point, it just, I'd probably stay. Yeah, because that scene at the beginning, it was, but we don't know how cold, like, how cold it could be was. cold enough for snow and not be. That's that true. Cold. Not cold but enough yet to freeze again, liquids. That's the Chicagoan in me, where it's like, I just think it's like, so if it has to be so cold. If I'm not out there freezing, then a zombie, like, that's the thing I never got with some of the lore, where it's like, oh, well, in the winter, they move slower. Yeah, but they got the same blood and same, they're humans, like, they were humans, like us. Yeah, but they don't have, like, a, the indicate. what I would think is they don't have the indication body temperature type thing. That's right, because the skin is broken, so it's skin's not like... Skin's broken, skin's rotting. Mm-hmm. 
they already move slower because of the rigor mortis too. So true, good point. So like it just it doesn't kill them, but it slows them down. I would think it makes at least, them less active. I would, I would think say. It, would, it would make slow them down. Mm -hmm. It would. But who knows? T eight hundreds. How do they react? In the exactly. Snow? So they we never got to you got see these that. new zombies. So mm -hmm. I would at that point want to stay wanderer. But now who, that I who knows? Like we have the T eight hundred that they introduce us to. What if there's a new classification where it's like the zombie learns to adapt to the snow? And they're just snow zombies. <laughs> snow zombies. So, snow zombies. Yeah, that's the one thing they I would want. They got snowshoes on and everything. The little rackets. <laughs> um, yeah, no, I think I kind of like changed that to be like a wanderer. I would settle down here, here and there once mm -hmm. in a while, but like mostly wanderer. And I mean, would you stay by yourself or have a small group? I would hope to have a small group because that. Okay. You're like, that'd be lonely. Safety in numbers. You're like, that would also be lonely. Someone to cover your back. True. Because that's the one thing I wouldn't want to do, the lone wolf thing. No. I wouldn't even want to be on the run because it's like, I get it in a zombie apocalypse, your life is kind of over. Um, to where like you're never going to have the life where it's like, well, I'm going home and I can just relax at home. Um, but like, if it's like, okay, I've got to sleep. Fuck. I don't even want to fall asleep in this car. Because I don't know if if someone finds me in my sleep, I'm dead. If a zombie finds me in my sleep, I'm dead. Like, basically, I get it's the whole, like, sleep with one eye open thing. Mm -hmm. But that's the thing that would terrify me is if I was wandering and, like, okay, I'm sleeping in this car tonight. I'm locking up and stuff. Being found while I'm asleep and basically defenseless. Because all they have to do is not – and I'm a heavy sleeper anyways – doesn't take a it takes a actually it takes a lot to wake me up. So because of that, I'm almost like fuck, like bunker down, let me get this defenses up, kinda like with them in the White House, fuck it. I can stay here forever. We can just stay you had a nice bed, you had numerous rooms, you had a rec area with a gym. Like what more could you have asked for? See my my thing now, because I like I said, I've got a new skill set mm -hmm. since then. We got some plus ones. Yeah. In the past few uh, year or two, a lot of plus ones. Um, I'll say one of them. I got my CDL, so mm -hmm. now I have a new skill set of uh, driving, driving driving big rigs. I would say at that point, try and find myself a big old uh, the big dump trucks, the six wheeler mm -hmm. dump trucks you see for uh, you're talking municipalities. About, yeah, you're talking about like, the garbage the garbage trucks. Not quite that. It's like okay. uh, you know one that ones that move stone and stuff. No. Okay. Yes, I do. Yeah, exactly. Maybe. I don't know. You'll have to I show me a picture. I'll have to show you a picture later. I think once I show you, you'll get it. Well, there's a big old trailer, too, that the, those things can haul. Get one of those. Um, put some extra... Oh, okay. Yeah, it's like the big silver box. Yeah, in the back. I think so. And it's got, like, the, the end opens up, and it goes... And it slides it all out. Yeah. I'm going to just... We're going to do this very high tech. Like, you're, gonna send you're me talking about one of these. Yeah, yeah like okay. that. And then I get the, the trailer that belongs with that type of thing. So it's a big old trailer. Put mm -hmm. a car or two on that thing. Yeah. I can haul those cars with me because, hey, that thing runs out of gas. We're somewhere I can't get gas easily. You can hop in another car. And exactly. Try to find and then gas. modify the back to be, uh, mm -hmm. to be able to, uh, like, sleep in or something. Yeah. But then. I know how to weld a little bit, so. So then are you closing off the top of it? I would say so somehow, like, close off the top or something. Mm -hmm. I would just, uh, I would be way too early being out on the run to where I would just want to bunker down. Bunker down. Fine. I know you got to then deal about people like if you come up, hey, get off my, get off my lawn uh, kind of a thing. This this place is occupado. See, now I'm just thinking, though, like, find a snow pile from somewhere, attach that to the front of the rig, mm -hmm. and the windows. And this well, is kind of like what they had on the Beast. Where yeah. It was the... If I can do that with it, yeah, I would do that. If not, mm -hmm. I would just find a snow plow from somewhere. Well, they can just run into Zambies. And just... <laughs> yeah, but I, I would say I'm a bunker. It's and hands then, uh, down. Always, in zombie apocalypse, double coat your windows. You see all these zombie apocalypse movies. They only put one like screen on the outside or mm -hmm. one on the inside. What it's do you like, mean? You know how like on the windows of trucks and st cars and stuff, they always have like the the fencing or the screening. Yes. Put it on both sides, inside and outside. Why? 
Maybe I'm just being stupid. Double layer? Oh, in case it gets through the first one, it's got to get it gets, through a second Because glass ain't going to do shit for you. Yeah, true. Good point. So. Good point. Um, that would be my thought. Anything with this that you think we need to cover before? Also, fuck oh, Beverly. Or fu- we should just, fuck Berkeley. We should, yeah, fuck Berkeley. <laughs> fuck Berkeley. Poser. I hated that character so much. Uh, I guess we should tell him what Ron also said, Wanderer. He never Go gave ahead. his details, though. Did he? I don't I don't think he did. Okay. Yeah, I don't remember. I remember him saying Wanderer. Um, but I don't remember him saying why or anything. Mike's a bunker, by the way. Is he? You I asked, asked him? him. Yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> of course, me, Mike, and I are uh, bunkers. Yeah. We get bunker down together. Yeah. Well, he was going the whole route of well, gas only lasts so long. Yeah. Well, I'm like, and there's so much, there's a finite resource of it. Once yeah. you're out once of gas, ga- once the country's out of gas, you're out of gas. Yeah. I mean, at that point, I may have to switch over to bunkering, but for the meantime, I told him. I'm oh gonna no, be that's wonder. what Ron. We were talking about the Tesla. Oh, yeah. Modifying the Tesla. He and, didn't uh, agree with me on that, but I'm not going to argue with him. Well, you're talking Mike didn't yeah. agree? Okay. Like, no, I would modify Tesla and just... Like, I would. I don't know. Would I modify the Tesla or would I modify the... Another... The, what I brought up was take the Tesla stuff, put it in a different type of vehicle case housing. Mm-hmm. Yeah, the casing. But, I mean, that's what we also talked about, solar panels on top, and he's trying to tell that's me... That's right. He's trying to tell me that's not efficient enough. It's like... Yeah, no, I'm pretty sure it would I be enough. A- I just asked if that would be possible. That was me and you. Was that me and you? Was it, it Ron is the, the problem. Me, you, and Ron. Okay, I and forgot. I think if Ron the only was in problem the car I would point. say with that part at that point is getting enough charge Solar to panels. the battery. Yeah, which is what. Why I said bigger size vehicle, slightly bigger size vehicle, but you more gotta, solar panels. But you got to understand, with me, I'm thinking more of as a bunkerer, where it's like it's sitting there all day. Yeah. It's sitting there, and all, you're only going out too. I'm only going on supply runs. It's not like I'm using it regularly for numerous hours of the day. Yeah, mine would be. Yeah, I'm traveling. Yeah, with me, I would probably find like a nice enough house, build a wall around it. Basically, as like a fence, but build fi- it high enough. Find to a where, brick house, then. Yeah, like find brick enough people, like a, high enough, so like people can't just climb right over it. Yeah. Um. And basically make my little fortress of solitude um, and kind of live out my life uh, in the zombie apocalypse. Um, here's another question that I just thought of. Zombie apocalypse okay. happens. Um, we'll put it this way because neither you nor I have significant others. Uh, sad face, cry, tear down the side of our Teardrop face. Teardrop emoji. Um, let's say we did, though. Okay. If your significant other was bit. What would you do? Would you be... Let's say they were pleading with you to kill them. Like, please, I don't want to turn into a zombie. Would you, A, be able to do it, or would you go psycho, kind of like the mayor in The Walking Dead? And it's like, this is my wife, or if even like a kid, or mom, dad, where it's like, I can't kill them. Fuck it. I'm just going to chain them up in the basement. I'm going to chain them up in the basement. That way I didn't kill them. They're still alive, but I know they're a zombie, not a person. I mean, to be fair, it's really hard to say without the actual situation. Actually happening, yeah. But I would say try, I would try and give them as long as they can. And then when they actually are, like, suffering, like, mm-hmm. the whole you see them, like, going through the sweats and the debilitating fevers and, like, muscles are contracting and mm-hmm. can't move anymore. That's when I'd probably do it. Hmm. We're almost the same, but different. Like, I would want to give them as much time, like, to do, like, wrap things up, per se. So. Like, say your, say goodbyes, say everything, but. So, what I would probably, if they were like, please kill me, I'd be like, okay, this is what we're going to do. Because I'm not shooting, I'm like, I'm not shooting you in the face. Because no. you're an actual person. It's like, yeah, I'm going to have um, to at least do it in the back of the head, not the front. No, not even that. What I would do is I would get, like chains and i would be like all right i'm gonna chain you up here in the basement or i'm gonna chain you up like out back and we're just gonna wait we're gonna have a conversation we're gonna talk this through we're basically gonna have our last moment i'm thinking this more of as a significant other yeah we're gonna have our last moment together and make sure the end of your life is going out the right way. I don't want your lasting memory. Well, you won't have any memories because your brain will be dead. 
Um, but I don't want you to go out with me shooting you in the back of the head or the face. So I've made it to where the chain's not that far. You're not going to come and hurt me. But we're going to talk. And as soon as you turn, you're now a zombie. You're not a person. Pop. You're dead. Because then at that point, I'm not killing a person. I'm killing a zombie. Like, And yeah. that's where I feel like with me, yet again, you make a good point. You can't answer for sure until you're put into it. It's like the example that I use is I've talked to like um, some of my friends who like have been cheated on and stuff mm-hmm. and like kind of the mindset that goes on where it's like before it happens, they were always like, well, yeah, if they ever did this, fuck it, they'd be gone and this and that. And then it happens. And then they're like, yeah, but dude, you said you were going to do this. And it's like, yeah, but no, they didn't well, mean to do it. Well, no, 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 so. not, not that it's, but, dude, you said, like, if she ever did that, you'd fucking leave. Yeah, but you never know what you're going to do until it actually happens. Mm-hmm. Like, you can talk a big game. So I get there's a lot of this and yeah. that. Um, but I don't – I feel like I would not be a mayor situation. No. I would not have them chained up and, like, leave stroke, them. <laughs> stroking the zombie. It's okay, little girl. I'm here. Daddy's here for you. Like, I don't think I'd ever be that fucking – Oh, do you mean the governor? Cra- the governor. That's Yeah, I'm like, I'm like mayor. I'm the trying mayor. To, like, I like as you're saying, I'm, like, trying to think of who I it was. I haven't watched The Walking Dead in so long. Oh, no, I'm just trying to – I was trying to think, like, I don't remember the character. I'm trying to, like, think through. That's why I didn't bring it up till now. To where I'm, like – I'm almost with that show where it's, like, just fucking – end it just it it's done i think it's kind of getting to that point just anyways especially since end it um what it's messing with your yeah. headphones stop okay. playing with that i'm like these ones aren't in use and i'd go to unplug them um, and johnny's like Fuck, it's like ghost playing. whispering in my headphones right now <laughs> <laughs> stop playing <laughs> Yeah, basically. I'm like, <laughs> it's like cutting in and out. So like, it's like, I can hear you, but like, there's also like ghost whispering going on. It's like, stop it. Oh. Uh, no, but I, that's the one thing that would be hard to watch is to watch them suffer as they finish going through the process of becoming a zombie. So if that's they really I, wanted me to, that's why I'd it's like, okay, them to, like, we're going to talk as long as possible. Yeah. But my thing would be like, I don't want to watch you suffer as you like are dying. If so, if they beg me to do, it, it's like, mm-hmm. okay, when you cannot move anymore, and when you can't like function anymore, mm-hmm. that's when we're gonna do it. I want you to live and do you, what you need to until then. Or, or, do you do this? Let's say it's a bunker. You build your fortress. Mm-hmm. Open up like the door that you have in your fence. Just start walking. No. To where it's like you're not. It's. It's hard because you're saying it's still a goodbye, but it's more of a hurt of like I'm saying goodbye to you rather than killing you because it's more of like a if you love something, set it free kind of a thing. I wouldn't do that to them. Where it's like I'm if just they gonna, wanted like, me to because then you're not you don't have to go through shooting them. Technically, they're dead, but they're still alive as a zombie and they get to live their life as a zombie for another 20 minutes. For another, well, they're the zombie. They wouldn't have a soul. They're becoming right? Do, a zombie. Does a zombie have a soul? It's Maybe a, that's the next that's evolution of zombie. It's another zombie, lore. Like evolution of zombies. Zombies have souls. Um, zombies are people too. But <laughs> the hippies. Um, but that's another option of like, fuck it. I can't do this. I'm basically like a like your dog or your cat, where it's like, fuck it. I'm just gonna. I'm I mean, you if go. you can get a hold of that kind of thing too, what? Uh, raid a vet and kind of. What do you mean? You know when they put a pet when you put your uh, pet down. Yes, yes. Basically, um, euthanasia. Yeah, that's what it's called. Um, I would do that over a fucking gunshot to the head. Yeah, no, I I think mostly it would be what is it, what do you want? Do you not want to feel yourself turn? Then I would have to kind of nut up and mm-hmm. do it, or it'd be like. I would still worry if they about wanted them turning. To, if, if I if even they, did the injection, I would still worry about them turning. That's true. You, at that point, you'd still have to shoot them in the head. Mm-hmm. But at least you know they're, like, out. Yeah. That it would did. be the thing. Or at least, like, maybe not the euthanasia then, but maybe, like, um, sedatives. Mm-hmm. Put them out. Yeah. And then do it. So that they don't feel it. Yeah. Kind of a thing. And they don't know what's coming. Exactly. They don't know um, what's, but it'd be like... Um, if they wanted to and they didn't want to turn, I'd try and get myself to do that for them. Mm-hmm. If they wanted to go, I wouldn't stop them. 
Mm -hmm. Honestly, I'd be nice enough to hand them a gun. Like what the? You mean like if if let's say your significant like, other's like they're, fuck it, I'm they're leaving. They're you can't stop like, me. And like, yeah, I'm not gonna stop you. So if they tried to leave, you wouldn't stop them. No. Okay. It'd be here. Why take, would you give them the gun though? Give them a gun. Why? Like the one where you have the lowest lowest ammo amount for. Yeah, but why? So they don't just get straight up eaten out there. Uh, I guess. Or at least hand them like a machete or something. Hand them want something so they can defend themselves until they turn. I mean, at that point... Something I, you don't, like, need need on you. Yeah, I... It would be different if my heart's in the situation, like, because we're that's talking what about I'm, significant other. That's what I'm trying but to... My logic kicked in, Laura. It's like, why give them a gun? I may need that gun later. I may need that ammunition later. If they're just going to turn, what's the... Then give them a machete them a or something. Like, I feel so much like... I feel like this is a thought process Dave would have. Um, cause Dave is very logical, um, where it's like, don't give them the gun. I may need the gun later. What well, you... I wouldn't, I wouldn't give them a gun if it's like one of my only guns, but if it's mm -hmm. like we've stockpiled, yeah. here is the gun with the lowest amount of ammunition I need, mm -hmm. like the lowest ammunition with it. Mm -hmm. I like... give the, I give them a knife. Here's a knife. I don't need this little knife. I have a machete. I don't need a little knife. Oh wow, knife. that's asinine. Here's a pocket knife. <laughs> it's a pocket Hey, <laughs> Hope you survive. Hey. Ellie in uh, Last of Us did a lot with a pocket knife, so you can, yeah, you can survive all... off that. Johnny was about to say, yeah, but that's a video game, That's Ricky. a video game, Ricky. Um, let's go on. Let's end this. We do like we always do. We give our MVP, which we have not given in quite some time. Oh. And I guess I officially get to look up now on the review sheet, the last review. Oh, man. Oh, no, the last review we did. Wait, did we record a review for that? I don't remember. I don't remember. We didn't record you're talking about. one for Hobbs and Shaw, did we? No, I don't think we did. But we saw it. Mm -hmm. Did we record one for Hobbs and I Shaw? I don't remember. Um, Hobbs and Shaw is the last one on our spreadsheet. Um, so now I get to type in Zombaland, Zombaland 2, Double Tap, and Johnny. Double Tap? Double. Dual, okay. Dual tap. Like dual. What the fuck are you getting dual <laughs> from? It's a du dual tap. Um, who's going to be your show stealer? I'll I'm, let you go first. I'm going to give it to Tallahassee. So Woody, Woody Harrelson. Harrelson. I still love his character from it. <laughs> I mean, to he be is fair. One, he it's, is one of the best. To be fair, it's, it's a lot of playing around between him and Jesse Eisenberg, but. We did record a Hobbs and Shaw review. Okay, we did. You want to know why? I, I I thought we did. I don't know. Just say why you think we did. Because I remember talking to you about Idris Elba's character. Okay. About how, oh man, that would have been on. I it's it's fucking with me. Um, but yeah, I think we did because I remember talking to you about Idris Elba's character and about that whole like backstory with the the other guy, the voice who mm -hmm. is now the boss. Um, but no, Tallahassee. Especially him in Albuquerque, like uh, Luke Wilson did a great job for the yes, little did. bit he was in that there he for. is in it. Um, well, starting with Tom Thomas Middleditch mm -hmm. playing Flagstaff, yeah, especially just emulating the two of them. And I, th I pointed out to you, I'm like, are they playing Magic the Gathering? What do you mean? On the table when they uh, when they, oh, I didn't catch that. Yeah, I pointed it out to you. No, I didn't hear that. Yeah, the the two when um I didn't hear you say that. I and now I want to go see it again to see. Because, yeah, um, Columbus and uh, Flagstaff were both just sitting there when they asked for the drink with the uh, umbrella in it. You're talking about Columbus and Flagstaff were That's playing what... Magic. Yeah. It's either I that or Yu-Gi-Oh. I didn't catch it. And now I want to go see it again to Because, yeah, they were it. playing normal cards. And, by the way, we did not record a review, review for Hobbs and Shaw. I just okay. remember talking to you about that. I think it, probably, it was probably in the car then or something. Yeah. Um, Fuck, I don't know who I'm going to give mine to. Because um, what, it, like, here's what I'm going with. You know mm -hmm. who I really want to give it to? Huh. Bill fucking Murray. But it was he in it enough to deserve a... We can, I would agree with you giving him an honorable mention. Okay. But in, you have to figure out who you're going to pick. Like I said... Because Bill Murray, we didn't even talk about that. Oh, we didn't. Bill we'll have to Murray's talk about that at the end here. Ending. We'll talk about it right now while I decide. Okay. Um... The whole ending with uh, Al Roker being patient zero, um, Bill Murray, the whole part with Garfield three. him and uh, with Columbus and Nevada where it's like, did you hear somebody 
It's like, wait, wait, what did you say? Oh, yeah, I'm going to Murray him. Wait, what? What did you say? Yeah. Did you hear about that? So that's probably the only thing you would have to have seen the first one for. Yeah, to understand exactly what happened. That's the only That's the only thing you need to see the first one for is the Bill Murray stuff. Yes. You just go on YouTube, though, and watch that. With the after credits um, scene with Bill Murray. Yes, but when she's like, someone kill, and he goes, oh, no, Ted, no, I would totally kill him, too. And it's like... Yeah, Columbus, you're the one that fucking shot him. Right? <laughs> Even uh, Wichita made a comment sort of about that. Mm -hmm. he's Did she? He's killed more uh, celebrities than cocaine. Uh, yeah, he's killed more celebrities than cocaine. So why did you do Garfield 3? Drugs cost money. That was probably the best. Of drugs cost m Between you and me, drugs cost money. Um. So uh, can, can you do the hairball with, come on, with a, with a little uh, selfie? Yeah. That was cringe. Al Roker wanting a selfie was just cringe worthy. Um, Al Roker vomits up the zombie blood and then. You know what? I'm going to go shocking on this one. Yeah? I am going to go re really shocking. You're probably not going to expect me to pick who I'm going to pick, but it's because. Berkeley. And this is why I'm going to give my reasoning without giving away who it was. This person. Was this person. Vital to the story. No. But the performance that they gave was so perfect. They played their character with so much conviction that I was bought in on the type of person they were. And I'm giving it to the name I can't pronounce. Zoe D. Oh, uh... I'm giving it Zoe to Madison. Deutsch. Ma Madison. Zo <laughs> Zoe Deutsch. <laughs> Zoe Deutsch. <laughs> Zoe Deutsch. Um, I'm giving it to Zoe Deutsch. Like, could I have given it to Eisenberg? Yes. Could I have given it to Tallahassee also? Yes. Um, Emma Stone, like I said, didn't really like Wichita in this one. Um, Little Rock, I thought was being a little bitch half the time. Um, teenage, teenage. Um, where it's like, I want to leave. Why do you want to leave your family? I get that it's a story, though. Um, Luke Wilson and Middle Ditch were great. I just, something about that character, that Madison character, where it's like the performance you give to you, play that character, right. you got to buy into that. Like, that's a character that if is done right, you believe how stupid they are. Like, she played it so well. I'm not saying she is. I don't know who Zoe is. Um, personally, but she played that character so well that I just thought that that was her being her. Like, who knew Trail Max had nuts in it? I know, right? Like, oh, like, oh to, my god, I wanted to wring her neck. Oh, fuck me. Guess, uh, so Zoe, yeah, guess what her birthday is, huh? Dave's birthday, really? Zoe and Dave have the same birthday of November the 10th. Um, Oh, okay. That's that's where I've seen her in. Hmm. Um, so I was just looking up, like, man, where have I seen Zoe and what she's been in? Um, she was in. Wait, is why him the? Okay, so she was the daughter. I think the daughter. She was the daughter in why him? Do you remember why him? Yeah, I remember it. Um, the. Yeah, she was the daughter um, in Why Him, the James Franco, um, yeah. Cranston one. Um, she was also in Dirty Grandpa. She was a gossip girl uncredited in The Amazing Spider-Man. Mm -hmm. I saw that. Um, oh, shit. She was Maya on Sweet, Sweet, Life on, uh, Sweet Life on Deck. Holy crap. That is like a she was throwback. Maya? Yeah, Maya Bennett. Holy shit, that is like a throwback to my childhood. Well, not really my childhood. I'm a fucking college kid at that point. Um, but hey, who didn't watch Disney Channel? Am I right? Am I right, guys? Um, but yeah, I'm going to give it to Zoe, my MVP. And that just leaves for one more thing, J-Man. What's our rating? Well, your rating and my rating I'm going to give it... Um, see, I was gonna, thinking of a four went before the after credit scene. Mm -hmm. I think because the after credit scene just... Fucking made it. I think we get a four point out of four point five T eight hundreds. Okay. Um, you're usually a more generous grader mm -hmm. than I. I'm just gonna give it a four. Um, I almost when I was coming home when I just got to my house, 
I was thinking, I'm like, ah, maybe a 3.5. Because, like, it wasn't a great movie. So it's automatically not a 5. Um, but for me, it's like, the thing that I think makes it a 4 is it's not one of those sequels where it's like, it's just a fan service. No. Like, it's a movie that can stand on its own, and that's what I like most about it. I just enjoyed the not, whole ride. Yeah, it's not just like a, we're doing this to cash in on the Zombieland stuff. Like, no, there's an actual story there. It's a story that makes sense. It's and it wasn't really what predictable. Its roots is. No, it wasn't predictable at which all. Which was nice. Um, Which was, I love the throwback, too, to the, the Buffalo um, where it's like Tallahassee got his moment. He got his moment where he got to herd the zombies off of Babylon mm-hmm. like Buffalo. Um, but yeah, you're giving it a 4.5. I'm going to go ahead and give it a four. Let me know and let Johnny know what you guys think down below in that comment section. Um, let us know of anything you thought about our review, about everything that we talked about when it comes to zombie land, Johnny, this is going to be one of the closest and almost, 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 almost one of our longest movie reviews that we have done. Wow. Because, let's see, I'm going to cut about five minutes. We're about five. We could stall for five minutes and hit the hour mark, which still would not beat Logan, but would still be <laughs> nothing. One of our, nothing has yet to beat Logan. Dude, the way our zombie discussion was going, I was like, if we milk this out a couple more, mm-hmm. we could easily beat Logan in this one. But eventually I was like, you know what? I don't want this to drag on yeah. of a podcast. But let us know what you guys think. Make sure to check us out, patreon.com backslash most valuable podcast. Follow us on Twitch, twitch.tv backslash most valuable podcast. Sooner rather than later, the Rick and Johnny podcast and our movie reviews will be live on Twitch. You can watch the show live with us. Yeah, that's something we're going to be doing in the near future. Um, so that means, Johnny, on top of it, on top of us having a discussion, you know what we can then get on podcast? Live, live comments. Someone brings up a question on the podcast. Boom. We have that discussion that we can then have on the podcast. Someone brings up a point of view that we didn't think of. We don't have to wait for the comments. You can go ahead and respond to it right in the Twitch chat. So go ahead and follow us, twitch.tv backslash most valuable podcast. Make sure to follow us on Twitter. I'm at Ricky Widmer. Johnny's at War Machine 9085. Most Valuable Podcast is at Most Valuable Pod. Thank you guys for checking us out, watching us. Make sure to subscribe as well. And as always, have a good day, everybody. Oh, 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 o